Hey Virgo, what's going on? Hope you're doing very well. Um, my name is Diane and this is Madame Butterfly Tarot. And we're going to do a reading for, um, God, I was going to say April, <laughs> June. God. Um, but you know, it's a timeless reading. You're very welcome here, Virgo. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. Um, hopefully the reading will resonate with you and you'll enjoy it and all that good stuff. And if that is the case, and you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that very much as well. Okay, so you might be moving on to, I don't know, you have some kind of love coming in here. You have two aces. I'm gonna pull one from this deck, which I have already shuffled, okay? okay. Wow. You have the Two of Cups <laughs> and the Page of Swords has just come out as well. You have some kind of union here, you know, the Two of Cups talks about a soulmate. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful, kindred spirits. And you have the Page of Swords which talks about, now that's Aquarius energy, but it can also talk about something that's been delayed. So this, this could be a connection between two people that's been delayed. But it's a soulmate, like it's someone very important, like kindred souls. Ace of Wands, very passionate connection as well. Okay. Who is this Two of Cups? So the Two of Cups, like I said, talks about union. Oh, it's very passionate. This Ace of Wands <laughs> really wants to come out. Um, I'm just gonna take the Ace of Wands. So very, very passionate new beginning with this soulmate that you got coming in here, Virgo, okay? Whoa, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is some kind of destined connection and you know, the Wheel of Fortune talks about it being the right time. There's gonna be a lot, like that Ace of Wands really wants to come out, okay? So this is gonna be like a very passionate new beginning, okay? Look, there's the Two of Cups again. Uh, what else for Virgo? Tell me about this person or this situation coming towards Virgo. The Knight of Cups, definitely romantic. Um, I feel like somebody's defenses are coming down, okay? Because I just saw the Seven of Wands in reverse and I see the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. So there could have been some sadness here. Uh, some someone's like walls could have been up. I feel those are coming down. Queen of Swords in reverse again. You could be headed towards um, uh, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or they could be headed towards you. Okay, tell me about this person coming towards Virgo. Page of Swords. Why do you have so many swords? You have the Hanged Man and the Page of Cups. There's been a delay here. There's definitely been a delay for some reason. You have the Page of Swords twice. Let's clarify. What, what, what is this Page of Cups doing here? <clears throat> oh, someone's coming in fast. The Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups. Someone's coming in very fast. Um, the Knight of Swords is more Gemini energy. Page of Cups is Pisces. What is this Page of Cups, please? The King of Wands. So this could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. with some Pisces in their chart. I feel like you know this person already. I feel like this could be someone from your past. I think they might be coming in with an apology. This person's been watching you. It's, I mean, it doesn't have to be an apology. It can also be like a very heartfelt message, right? But I feel like you've kind of been waiting for this. Okay. Uh, I don't know who you are in this scenario. You might be this Queen of Swords, so you might um, 
have your back up a little bit with this person or maybe you were defensive with them in the past because I do feel there's been a massive delay and obviously the rules can be reversed right so if you feel like the rules are reversed just flip them but this person could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sag and I feel like they've been watching you they've been waiting for the right time to come in and give you this cup of love which could also be an apology um, but it's like an emotional message and you have the Knight of Pentacles with the Six of Cups and the um oh I see why you're angry with them okay so I think this is someone it's definitely a soulmate I think it's someone from your past um they're coming in with a lot of passion this person with the Ace of Wands like a lot of passion there's you know the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands they find you very very physically attractive Excuse me, um, but with the Knight of Pentacles, that's also something very stable that's coming in. I, I think it's been a very slow offer in the making. Like the Knight of Pentacles is really slow. Um, that's Earth energy. I don't know, there's a lot of signs here, but I, I would say more maybe like this person has Pisces and Fire, maybe. Aries Leo Sag in their chart somewhere. Very good looking, very charming. Uh, like sort of leadership t type energy and they're coming in Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles so they could also have Earth I don't I can see them quite ha having quite a broad chart here actually I see like water I see fire and I see Earth okay so they might have actually quite a broad chart they might have all of that in their chart but um, the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles they're coming in with passion they're coming in with love but they're also coming in with something very, very stable. Um, you may even have met this person at work or school or when you were studying something. But it's a soulmate and there's definitely been a delay. See, the reason that you're pissed, I think, I think you're this Queen of Swords, is because this person was appearing as a Knight of Wands before right but that came out in reverse so they're not appearing as that now now they're this king of wands right um you know the knight of wands is like you know they, they're very in and out they're very chaotic they don't know what they want they can be kind of a player it's like very charming but oh blink and i'm gone but the king of wands is still very charming still very fiery but it's a king like they're stable, they're looking for commitment, you know, they're looking for like someone to spend their life with kind of thing. Um, so I think you've kind of had your back up with this person in the past because you're like, oh, I don't want to get hurt. Coming in with a lot of love though. Lots of love. I think this person has been angsting about you. Looking for a reconciliation here. Yeah, there was definitely, you have the Ten of Swords here. So I think there was maybe a painful ending with you guys in the past. Because I think they were flaky. Yeah, I think this is someone from your past. Because I, th I think this person was flaky, so you were like, psh, blah, 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 blocked. But they're wanting a new beginning with you here. But I think they've been waiting <laughs> until such time as you wouldn't like slam the phone down at them. Um, and you have the Queen of Cups here. So this person very much sees you as like this Queen of Cups energy, right? Like very sweet, very loving. Um, and I think that's who, who you are, really. But you're kind of showing up here as this Queen of Swords because I think you've had to, or you felt like you had to protect yourself with this person before because they were all over the place. So you were just like, right, enough of your shit. Like, you know, either come at me properly or you don't come at me. Okay. But yeah, this is someone like wanting a reunion. It's definitely a soulmate. I would say past life. Oh look, new love. <laughs> Just as I'm saying, um, past person. Let's see. You do have the Ace of Cups here. I do feel like it's someone from the past, though. Let me just see. Who is this King of Wands? Let me love you. So this King of Wands has been like watching you, Virgo. Like they want, they're like, they want in. 
Who is this King of Wands? Commitment issues. Yeah, this is the same person. But they're kind of appearing as... They're almost like appearing as a brand new person. You have commitment issues. So I think this is someone who... Like, I think that they, they were this Knight of Wands. Like, they had commitment issues in the past, but now they see marriage and children with you. Like, now they're, they're ready. You know, they've been away, they've done their work, they're showing up as this King of Wands. I think this person was working on self-love. You have love yourself first here. Okay, tell me about this King of Wands. There's someone else. I think maybe you met someone else. Like this King of Wands is worried that you've met someone else. Like they're worried that you've met someone new. I think they've been hanging around just to make sure you're single. Who is this King of Wands? You are my everything. You already know them. Who is this King of Wands? Saving up money. Okay, this person has been away saving up money. Um, so they probably do have Earth in their chart somewhere because I feel like this person wanted to have something to offer you. Okay. Yeah, this is a soulmate. Tell me about this King of Wands. get another couple. You changed the way I think. This is someone who didn't want to get married and settle down before. I, like, I think they were very guarded for some reason. I think they had, because you have let yourself be loved again, so I think maybe they had a bad experience in love or something. So they were like, well, I'm not going to have a relationship with anyone again then. Like, F that, you know? But you changed the way this person thought about, like, all that stuff. Yeah, because they think you're amazing. <laughs> I think you're amazing. Like, that's why you changed the way this person thought about, like, commitment and stuff. Because you're something special, Virgo. Anything else about this King of Wands? So they have dealing with my issues. And you already know them. So this is someone coming back from your past but they're kind of showing up as like they've changed a lot you know oh this could be a twin flame you got going on here so that's why they've changed so much because they've been away doing their shadow work like for those of you that resonate with the twin flame journey god bless you um you know this could be your runner returning which is funny like the twin flames they show up in the readings every so often <laughs> it's weird and this series like seem to have been like a lot of twin flames like they seem to have reunions every so often so you know initially that's what happens with the twin flames like you have a masculine and you have a feminine regardless of if it's like a same gender relationship one will always be masculine one will always be feminine but the masculine runs so the feminine chases until such a point where the feminine starts to be like, well, I'm not doing that, F you, uh, and stops chasing, <laughs> basically. And then the masculine starts chasing and then the feminine runs and then eventually they both start run stop running and there's a reunion. So I think this person has been waiting for you to stop running. I think there's a twin flame union happening here. And the twin flame union, it is very passionate when you come together because uh, you've been away from each other for so long. You have the golden mirror in reverse, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So this person may have been a little self-absorbed when you first met or uh, something like that, but they're, they've done a lot of work on themselves and like I think you've really helped them with that because um, you're showing up as this Queen of Cups who's very opposite to that, you know? So this person has maybe taught you to be like a little more selfish, right? Like have better boundaries, this kind of thing. Because that's the thing with the Queen of Cups, like she's very, very sweet, but often she kind of gets walked all over because she lacks boundaries. 
and I say that with love um you know I'm talking about myself here like that's I had to learn boundaries because you know you can't just be going around with no boundaries unfortunately um but I think you softened this person so it's like you both had a profound effect on each other but you have seduction here as well this person is coming back in to seduce you okay but it's not like a hit it and quit it thing you know you have the knight of pentacles like they're here to stay they want to offer you something very solid uh, attraction flirting dating hooking up so yeah this is like a reunion there's going to be like yeah you're going to have fun put it that way <laughs> lots of passion because this person is very very passionate about you like they think you're very beautiful or very handsome Tell me about this person coming towards Virgo. Anything you want Virgo to know about this connection? No? It's quite a simple reading, it seems to be. Oh, this person's kind of self-sabotaged. Uh, you have the hammer, yeah. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So they're coming back in with this page of cups. Like you're going to get a very emotional offer, like a very emotional message from this person, something very solid, but also very romantic and very passionate. They want to rebuild this because they sabotaged it before by being this Knight of Wands. Whether they were a player or not, they came in with this like, ooh, I don't know what I want kind of energy, right? And you have the boat. Uh, yeah, progression, arriving, so it's receiving what you need, like this time this person is going to give you what you need, okay? They've also been away saving up money, you know, so that could have been an issue for this person before, maybe they felt like they didn't have enough to offer you or something, or they wanted to work on their career first. Um, I'm not saying that's right, I'm just reading the cards. <laughs> but yeah, they want to rebuild this, you know? They want to get past what happened in the past because they really do put you up on a pedestal like they really do i don't know if maybe you're a little bit older that can also be a twin flame dynamic usually the the feminine is older but um they do put you up on a pedestal <coughs> i think because you're so sweet with the queen of cups here like because you're so sweet and you're so loving and gentle like that's what they they think you're really hot, right, with all this, this wands energy, but they really love how sweet you are. That's what's got them. But also, you know, like I said, the Queen of Cups, she had to learn boundaries. So I think they're... Because I think you blocked them with that Queen of Swords. I think you were just like, you know what, enough of your shit. Like, just, just leave me alone. So they, they were like, fair enough, like, okay, <laughs> respect. Uh, any messages from this person for Virgo just to close the reading? The Queen of Pentacles, lean on me, I will support you every step of the way. So this person, yeah, there could definitely be an age difference because you have the page and the Queen of Pentacles, so that's like an age difference. You know, um, they find you to be very loving and very supportive. But they also, they, I feel like they want to be able to support you, you know, in the same way that you support them, whether that's like emotionally or for some of you it's money because there's pentacles here, you know. You have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Any other messages from this person? <clears throat> the Ace of Swords. It took me a while to understand you. Uh, sorry, it took me a while to understand, but now I get you. They want this new beginning with you. Like the Ace of Swords is, there was definitely a shitty ending with you guys in the past with that Ten of Swords, whatever happened. With the Twin Flames, it, it usually just, just, usually means that someone left. So that's probably what the, the ending was, like they ghosted you or something, but they want to get past this. Because they've had it like an epiphany with the Ace of Swords. You know, they see things very clearly now, which again is part of the Twin Flame journey. You have the Ace of Cups underneath that. 
Any other messages from this person for Virgo? The King of Swords, I restrain my feelings for you, but please know I do care. See, this was the problem in the past. Um, they could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Honestly, I think this person has quite a broad chart. I think they have a little bit of everything in their chart, which might make them appear more like quite flaky. You know what I mean? It's almost like if they have all those signs in their chart, they might almost appear like they're faking it or something, but they won't be. It's just that they have all these different facets to their personality, if you see what I mean. Um, but here as well, because see the Page of Pentacles is someone like offering their heart to someone, right? That's what they're coming in to do. Uh, also money though, I feel. Because I, I do feel like this person, you know, for those of you that that would apply to, um, probably won't apply so much to the guys dealing with women. Uh, although if that's what you want, then, you know, that will apply to you. But um, the, yeah, the King of Swords, I, I just feel like in the past they didn't tell you how they felt. Like, you know, the King of Swords is someone who, they're closed off emotionally, you know, they're trying to protect themselves. It's all like, you know, head over heart, like, I'm only going to give you as much as you need to know. And that's what put you in this Queen of Swords, right? Because they weren't letting you in or sharing with you or telling you how they felt. So you were just like, well, okay, so that's what you're getting back right? Which is totally fair. It's like, well, how can you, you know, you that, <laughs> can't just be one person giving, 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 right? Oh, the Ace of Wands again. Oh, this person really, really fancies you. <laughs> like, they really find you very, very, very attractive. Uh, you ignite me. There's so much I want to do with you. Yeah, I bet there is. Um, Let's get two more. What would this person like to say to Virgo? There's the Empress. For those of you that this applies to, like this person wants to take care of you. Like I think for some of you, like financially, you know, because this is the Empress, like the mother card. So for a lot of you, this person's thinking like, you should be the mother of my children. <laughs> um, but you know, this is about, they, they really love you. You know, they find you like the Empress and the Queen of Cups, regardless of your gender. It's very nurturing, very loving, very kind, very, you know, someone that you feel safe with. Um, but this is someone who wants to like take care of you, like love you, put you up on that pedestal. But yeah, for some of you, definitely like take care of you financially. And you have the Emperor in a way. That's crazy. Look at that. The divine couple, the emperor and the empress. So no matter who you want to be, if you want to be the girl, you want to be the boy, uh, yeah, they feel like you're their match. This person feels like you are their match. Uh, the emperor, don't worry, love, I've got it all under control. So insert yourself here as you will. But, you know, if you're dealing with like, you know, the emperor is, represents the divine masculine. So this is like someone that has been away, done their shadow work, They've grown up um, and they want to be with you. This is like family stuff, you know, the emperor and the empress. This is like the mother and the father of the deck. Like, you know, very loyal, very faithful, very stable. Someone that's like looking out for you. You know, so for those of you who resonate with the divine feminine, this is someone that's kind of, a, you know, here to like look after you so you can be the divine feminine so you can just kind of chill and just you know do divine feminine stuff um basically like have children or you know whatever you want to do but yeah this is the divine couple so particularly for a twin flame journey this is like the divine masculine returning you know But yeah, expect a message from this person. Expect it to, it's very loving. They really love you. Like there's so many, you know, you have the Ace of Cups here. They've been saving up money. Um, they've been working on these commitment issues. They're worried that you have someone else though, which some of you might, because you know, this person left you. But um, the Page of Cups, they're coming back in with, they're gonna be very emotional with you. 
I think you'll be surprised because of this King of Swords. Like, I don't think you ever got that from them before. Um, you know, this is like they're gonna, you know, take you out on a date. Like, definitely they're gonna be seducing you, okay, Virgo. So just be prepared for that. But it's with the intention of like being with you, you know, long term, kind of thing. Like, this is it. Like, this is. Um, let's get another couple. Anything else? The Page of Cups, so yeah, there's going to be communication. This Page of Cups, you know, it can be very unexpected. Like, it can be an unexpected message um, and quite emotional. There's going to be some communication coming in from this person. Yeah, there we go. There's the, the, that's what I was looking for. There's the Ten of Pentacles. So, this person's looking for long term. Like, the Ten of Pentacles is... Let's with our love, let's build a legacy. Like let's build a, a let's build a, a life. Let's move in together. Let's get married. Let's you know buy a car. Let's have a family. Yeah, the whole shebang. So that's your message, Virgo. I hope you find it useful. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I would appreciate that very much. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.